Good day everyone, my name is Daniel Kumarin and today I'll be talking about CPR also known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So CPR can help save a life during cardiac arrest or when the heart stops breathing or beats too ineffectively to circulate brain to circulate blood to the brain or other vital organs. So there are seven steps of CPR that we should know. First is we should check the scene for safety. Uh, this is a form of initial impressions and use personal protective equipment. Uh, second step is if the person appears unresponsive, uh, check for responsiveness, breathing, life-threatening bleeding or other life-threatening conditions using shout, tap, shout. So we can shout at the patient, tap them and also shout back. And Step number three, if the patient does not respond and is not breathing or only gasping, call 911 and get equipment or tell someone to do so. Step number four, kneel beside the person, place the person on their back on a firm, flat surface. And uh, step number five, give 30 chest compressions, uh, hand position, two hands centered on the person's chest, body, pos uh, body position, Shoulders directly over hands, elbows locked, elbows should be locked, and that at least for 2 inches, and the rate of compression is 100 to 120 per minute. Also allow chest to return to normal position after each compression. And step number 6, give 2 breaths, uh, open the hairway to a post neutral position using the head till chin lift technique. Uh, pinch the nose shut, take a normal breath and make complete seal over the person's mouth with your mouth. Ensure each breath lasts about 1 second and makes the chest rise. Allow hair to exit before giving the next breath. And the last step is continue giving sets of 30 chest compressions and 2 breaths. Um, use an AED as soon as one is available and also minimize interruptions to chest compression to less than 10 seconds. That's all from me. Thank you.